Hi, I'm Justin Sehing from Adobe Analytics Product Management. Today, I want to show you an exciting new feature called Histograms, allowing you to view your data in a whole new way. Let's get started. Here I am in the main page of Adobe Analytics. Navigate to the Analysis Workspace area, and what we'll do here is create a new project. On the left-hand side, you'll notice some chart options. There's a lot that you're already familiar with. However, there's a new one called histograms. Let's do an example. Let's say I'm interested in seeing how many unique visitors generate revenue across various bands of spending. I can simply drag in the histograms or create a table below, but we'll create a simple one right here. Then search for revenue in your metrics area. Drag in the revenue metric and add it in. You can obviously make changes to the histogram, but what we'll do is create a quick one right now, and then we'll show you the setting changes later. You can also do counts by visits, or change the bucket size, or the metrics, or even your starting bucket. So let's build it quickly. What we'll notice right away is that because our bands are only within a dollar, it just looks like a simple bar chart with a lot of people spending more than six dollars. Let's spread this out a little bit more evenly by changing our metric bucket size. We'll have bands of $100. So for example, one to $100, or 101 to $200. And we can also add in more buckets as well. So we can change it from five to 10 buckets. So we can see that there's many visitors who spend only between one and $100, whereas there's still a little bit more who spend over $1,000. Of course, it's all within the month of October. So that's pretty much it, and that's the histograms for you. We hope that you enjoyed this tutorial, and let us know if you have any comments or any questions. Thanks.